that is why I feel the most uh, confusion. Mm -hmm. And in the mind training, obviously, in order to really get clear, one would have to go through the false beliefs to get down to like that that instant that we're talking about, where where the decision is seen between the ego and the Holy Spirit. But in the mind, it's like a humble. It's all jumbled up. I mean, it's like the mind seems to be chattering constantly, and, and it's like, watch my thoughts. Gee, <laughs> you know, it's like it seems like a real big job. But the course says the simplicity is down here at the bottom. And one of the things we could talk about with giving, I mean, that's a good topic area to go into in a sense, too, in the sense of when you're bound to form, then, then a lot of your ideas about giving have to do with giving in certain ways, whether it's, you know, giving through gifts, form gifts, or, or giving time, you know, or, or how to give. And what the Course is saying is that truly, the only gifts that we give, and what we really give is what we receive for ourselves, is at a thought level. That ideas are strengthened as they're given away. And that literally by, by giving the Holy Spirit away, by sharing the Holy Spirit, you know, which, which again gets to how you share the Holy Spirit, it, you have to be clear on that, but it's by giving those thoughts away that you can get away from this belief in, in loss. Because I think a lot of codependencies and enabling beneath it is still the bargain. You know, it's like I give so much, I give so much till I'm burnt out. <laughs> but can that really be giving if we feel well, burnt out? Ideas. Pride, as long as you're giving ideas from the Holy Spirit, but if you're giving otherwise form, yeah. it's, it's always the expectation of return. Right.